Good morning everyone welcome back to another week here at princeton this week i actually don't have that much schoolwork um a class ended up being canceled for the whole week um because they were giving back midterms and the other classes as well um the homework is pretty chill so for the first time in a while um i don't feel super overwhelmed by what i have to do for school um other than probably like just work on my thesis and things like that so um, I was thinking that I would just sort of make this week uh, a sort of creative reset or renewal or whatever you want to call it, um, where the goal is to sort of tap into, I guess, um, some exciting creative energy, whether that be for writing or um, reading and absorbing new creative things, uh, filming, editing, um, things like that. So I'm really excited. I sort of had this idea yesterday and then I stumbled upon um, Lucy Moon's video that just came out. I'll link it below, but she also just like kind of went through her own method of doing a little creative reset and it was really nice to watch. Um, and so I sort of stole some, some things from her uh, that hopefully I'll be able to implement over the next couple of days. Basically to use her words, the goal is to sort of run the tap um, creatively, essentially just to get into a flow that feels really natural and easy um, and sustainable. Uh, and and I think this would be really, really nice just because doing creative things brings me so much joy. I know it does for a lot of people um, and a type of fulfillment that academic work really cannot even come close to. So hopefully, um, you know, getting close to that sort of energy will make me feel really grounded and excited. With that being said, basically last night after I watched that video, I sort of created like many um, goals and habits that I can follow uh, for the next little week. These are not an end all be all. If they don't all get done, it's totally fine. Um, but my goals for this week are to translate um, half of a story that I'm working on, um, to write the third chapter of the novel, um, and sort of film this video, film my process, um, and to maybe read a book um, in its entirety and just to kind of feel tapped into this creative side of myself um, and the habits that I wrote down to kind of implement for the next um, couple days is to write a page every morning um, of just thoughts like I guess journaling I did that this morning and it was really nice um, and then I also want to be more mindful about how my space links like mentally to my work so um, I tend to for example do academic work in libraries and I want to like maintain that because I don't really love doing creative stuff in libraries um, whereas like my room is like a really good writing space for me um, maybe explore some cafes and then um, I would also love to read uh in the morning and also in the afternoon um around like 30 minutes to an hour every day um just because i have really fallen off the reading band bandwagon for a while um i think you know it's the first thing to go when i feel a little like stressed and like have so much other stuff to do um but this past week i read uh the this book called standing heavy um and it was really good i kind of felt like i got back into the flow and um, I also got a reading journal and um, I'll show some clips here, but yeah, I loved just like reflecting about it um, with pen on paper and this reading journal is beautiful. Um, I bought it at a bookstore, but I think it should be online as well. Um, and yeah, it's just been really nice to get me more excited about what I'm reading and make me think more critically about it as well. And then hopefully it'll make it easier to make some videos about reading. So yeah, those are sort of my goals, habits. I I had just thoughts for the week 
um, really not crazy, but hopefully I'll check in here and there to let you know how it's going. Um, other than that, I think right now I'm gonna start with writing. Um, that's something I've been doing is when I don't have class or like if I can wake up early enough before class, I'm trying to write for around an hour um, a day before everything else starts. Um, and I think that is my prime time, I've realized, um, for writing this story. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get on to that. Um, otherwise, today, I'm not really sure what we're gonna get up to, but we have some little things planned. And I hope this inspires you to get into whatever creative thing you've been sort of putting off or wanting to um, tap into again. And yeah. everyone it's about 10 p.m now and yeah it's been a pretty good rest of the day um i ended up seeing my friend caroline and then um going to a talk um like sort of like a writing talk about language and war that was really interesting and it definitely i think it was really heavy but it also you know gave me a lot of food for thought um both just personally and creatively um, and then yeah, I ended up calling Mindy for a bit, had some dinner, and I'm back now just to check in on sort of like the creative progress today. Won't go too into detail since I can probably do like a summary at the end of this week, but yeah, it's funny like sometimes you get so excited about like creating a creative space and like time and everything and today i was like really excited to go to the cafe and like do some writing and things and then it just like kind of derailed because i'd forgotten to eat lunch i was really hungry um all this stuff like i felt really distracted um so i got stuff out i don't think i'm gonna use any of it um, which is pretty tragic i think i'm just going to or i'll use the ideas but i don't think i'm gonna use this scene and um tomorrow i'm gonna try and rewrite the beginning of the scene um and maybe implement the pieces that i wrote today later otherwise like i said i spent the rest of the day sort of chilling so um i'm going to just do a tiny bit of translation now before um going to bed maybe doing some reading as well it does feel really surreal to just like not have that much score to do but i'm not gonna complain so grateful um and so happy and i definitely feel like it's so nice to commit myself to these things that i want to do and it's like no one else is forcing me to do them <laughs>
Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday and um, officially been about a week since I started this video. And yeah, I just wanted to do a last check in on how it went. Um, if I feel like I've kind of been able to get the tap running, so to speak, and feel more like tapped into my creativity, whatever you want to call it, a uh, sort of reset of sorts, really simply to go through like my goals and habits that I put up here. Um, I was not able to translate, I think, half of a story, but I did uh, maybe close to it. Um, did not finish the third chapter, which I'm still working on and have to do today. Um, I did film the whole thing and um, I read, I think, one book and a half, maybe. Those are like sort of tangible goals. And then in terms of habits, I mostly wrote something in the morning, even if it wasn't like that morning page. I do find like the days I do it, it's really, really nice. Um, but for example, today I probably will just work in my reading journal or something. So something like with a pen and, pa and paper for me is really nice in the morning. Um, and I think in general, I have tried to get out of like my room and other like standard workspaces like the library. I've been trying to go to like cafes or like the public library or just like separating spaces when I need to work. One of the habits I had was reading more for pleasure like in the afternoon or morning and that was that's definitely been a real thing. I, I feel like I've been reading for fun way more which is really nice. So those are sort of like the goals I had set for myself but I wanted to have a separate chat, sort of related chat um, about perfectionism. Um, there's a lot here, so maybe we'll go into it in another video. Basically, I saw a video yesterday um, about perfectionism and people who are perfectionists. And I don't think I necessarily identify as a perfectionist or like think that is who I am, like in the cliche of like, you know, I don't really like, or I'm not really meticulous about like uh, how things are done or like, you know, revisiting things. And like, I usually am good about like being like, okay, this is mostly finished. One thing that's really interesting is this person was talking about perfectionism in terms of time and in terms of like achieving certain things um, that you've set out to do. And I, basically like having like an ideal day or an ideal week of sorts and then being like, if I don't get all this stuff done, I have failed. Unfortunately, I feel like that really resonated with me. Um, I'm just someone who like is really like planny and it's not even like in like a I need to do this by the hour kind of way, but I just like think I hold myself to a very high standard in terms of like my happiness. I don't know if this makes sense, but like I really want to enjoy myself like all the time which is so unreasonable um and i want to be doing things that i feel good in which maybe this is like you know just wanting to like this is very normal like life things um but i think it kind of becomes a little restrictive and almost like just like not very positive because it puts the pressure that i have to like get all the things done that i've wanted to do like these are not assignments like literally i don't feel stressed about like getting assignments done perfectly um but it's almost more like if i've set out to write something by that day i really want to like make sure i do it or like if i told myself i'm gonna read but i don't read like it's so stupid in a way because they're like literally like for leisure for for fun so basically <laughs> what i'm trying to say is like i feel like over the week i've had sort of a different type of realization which is maybe that this reset which I think did help and like just even thinking about these things as like the main structure of my life right now like just prioritizing writing prioritizing filming and like just thinking about like what are other people making and being more aware about like I think creative things happening around me like I feel like that has been really good for me um and I definitely feel like I and more quote unquote tapped in or running the tap or whatever in terms of like just engaging with all this stuff like just writing more um reading more and things like that I'm feeling more like natural in it but i think that the bigger realization of this week was just to not hold myself to this unreasonable standard when it comes to creative things um which is where i 
feel a lot of value like these are the things i love the most so i've been trying to embody that because i think also being a perfectionist and holding on to that sort of pressure of like when you want to get things done like um how much you want to do like actually restricts the quality or like the um i guess complexity or the meaning of the thing you're actually doing like for example if i say i want to write a chapter in like a week it's like i yes that's good and like it'll keep me on track so a certain to a certain extent i want to follow that but also um it kind of restricts what i'm actually doing with that chapter because i don't have time to like plan and like think about what do i actually want to say so especially as i write this thesis and just kind of try to uh, think about how I'm going to incorporate all these aspects of like translation and writing and also reading and like all these fun things um, into hopefully a career post-grad and um, you know I'm guessing they won't be full-time so then how do I maintain this without keeping so much pressure on myself is something I've really been thinking about um, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Other than that, thank you so much for coming along um, during this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you got some sort of inspiration or just some food for thought. Um, and hopefully you are also getting started on any creative things that you have been wanting to do. I'll keep updating you on these projects in the other vlogs as well. Um, and I will see you next time. Bye.